I noticed that politicians, their main line of, I guess, advertising their policies is convenience. Because, God forbid, we get a little inconvenience as a means of doing something productive. And that term productive, too, has a negative psychological undertone. It's doing something to do something. It's very self-defeating. There isn't anything that's triumphant. Triumph is a dying word and a dying concept. And it's one that a lot of people, especially if they're older now, they're gradually losing it. They're not seeing it anymore. Triumph, what is that? We want convenience, right? That's a problem with modernity, right? It's too inconvenient. We have to push convenience to a higher scale. That's kind of what the healthcare issue is amounting for now. Debt is inconvenient. Never mind that we're robbing people of the future of necessary resources. Never mind the fact that we're engaging in the lifestyle and becoming dependent on a lifestyle that isn't going to exist not too long from now. Gradually, it's becoming less and less viable. No. Healthcare should be affordable. Having a college degree should be affordable. All these things should be affordable. A poop dick should be affordable. When I get fucked in the butt. Let's make it as efficient as possible so you can do it easily. If you're a girl and you want to do a lot of guys, fry up all your eggs and become ugly as shit and out your prime, looking like you're 50 when you're 30. Uh, there's an avenue for that. It's very convenient. That's kind of what Obama's speeches are summarized to me. We want things to be as convenient as possible. You guys want equal races all across your industries? Well, it doesn't take a lot of work. And it's very convenient to do. Just set up anarcho tyranny. The consequence of all racial egalitarianism and bureaucratic emptiness is anarcho-tyranny. A term Grog likes to use a lot, and it's perfect. It sums up the bureaucratic environment very well. A environment that is trying to be as politically correct and environment and functional as possible, even though those two things are at odds with each other, and it's just trying to be there to exist. It's very self-serving, parasitical, and useless. Just useless. Academia. Who is benefiting from what they're learning at academia? Maybe some of the more practical stuff at the college level for things of, like mathematics and physics, if you go the right direction. But other than that, a lot of what you learn is hogwash and useless. Unless your ego needs a good level of destruction or inflation. Well, there you go. You have that avenue. And it's very convenient to do. 
Let's give everyone a non-HD television. I remember when they were pushing for HD to go national for everyone to make it mandatory that they need an HD TV. They can't just watch TV without being standard definition or something more obsolete than that. Because it's not convenient. Look at that, I can see the individual blades of grass. Isn't that wonderful? I can see the little grains of sand on the beach. I can see each little ripple of water. I could s count the stars in the sky. It's not just a bunch of blurs now. It ain't worth it. It ain't Rolf, though. I'm sure there's something I missed out, because there always is. Because there's always something that's a little too inconvenient about life. Gotta love that about modernity. Let's make it so that there's less and less struggle. But everyone's more agitated, whiny, and low of testosterone before. And it's because they want to struggle. They don't just want production, you know, activity for activity's sake, creation for the sake of creation. They want a little bit more than that. You see, you need one side of the dialectic. We're too anabolic as people. Well, let me rephrase that. We're too catabolic as people. We're not anabolic enough. We have so much adrenaline rushing through us. Not a lot of testosterone. We're all about destruction, 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 breakdown. Not a lot of construction. And you can see that. And it sucks. And... Nobody's speaking about that on TV, because there are no charismatic personalities, there's just gelatos. Anyways, Mr. Walker 7, think about it.